So find a comfortable position and when you will be ready, gently close your eyes and find your center. And for a moment, become aware of your thoughts. Know that you can think good thoughts. Know that you can change your thoughts. That you can think the prosperous ones, the healthy ones. That you can think about what you desire in a sense as it is available to you. That you are worthy of it. That you are capable of having it, getting it, and maintaining it. That the mindset of poverty is something from the past. And the attitude of abundance is your new state. So for a moment, just breathe in this new state. Think these prosperous thoughts. Choose prosperity for yourself. And how does it feel? How does it feel if the year in front of you is filled with awe and wonder? How does it feel? If you can overcome excuses and fear with ease and you recognize that what you love the most is overcoming it because that's when you discover the most of yourself that's when you discover the most of your strength and that's when you step outside of the box of comfort and you embrace the discomfort, you embrace the unknown if you hold on to this belief that unknown always brings incredible, exciting opportunities to you, that it always brings to something to positively surprise you, you will fall in love with the unknown. You will understand that that's what you're meant to experience. That's what you're meant doing. And what if you're able to raise yourself into more creativity, more flow, to do more things that you feel joyful about and less of the things you hate to do? Maybe a year of a new job or a new business or starting something freshly new that will completely excite you for living that will open up your heart and remind you that your life is only beginning right here. And all the hard things you have to do, what if you recognize that you actually love doing that? You love changing your habits because you're just curious how it feels when you change for something healthier. How it feels when you prioritize something that's hard and you do it with ease because you understand the power of small steps. You understand the power of tiny little moves that bring you to where you want to be. You understand that as soon as you start, the momentum will take over and you will easily get to where you want to be. And then there's the magic of time. Time always surprises us. We don't know when things will happen, but we know they happen when they need to. So if you learn to trust the time, you will recognize that everything happens at the right time. There's a divine time for all, also for you. There's a divine timing for you. It's written in the stars and it will come to you. So don't force when it doesn't happen. It's just not the right time yet. So you will keep up doing your thing knowing and trusting that your time will come. To meet the right person, your time will come. You're worthy of meeting the right person. You deserve to meet the right person. Also that right person, that soulmate, that interesting person 
is manifesting you the same as you are man manifesting him or her. Just know that. Know that in your heart. Know that the wanting amount of money, the prosperity, everything you are manifesting is wanting you as much as you want it. As much as you are manifesting it, it is manifesting you. It's meant to come to you. Know that. Know that you are attracted to it and it is attracted to you. Know that you are a magnet for anything you desire. It's not something you want. It's something that's just, it naturally comes to you. It's already a part of you. You're not separated from it. You're just not there yet and it's okay. But you know that you are getting there. Every single day when you wake up and you ask yourself, how much can I be grateful for today? For another day? For the bed that I can sleep on? For the comfort that I can experience? For the health? For food that I eat? For air that I breathe? For light I can see? For colors that makes this world even more beautiful? How much grateful I can be? Maybe for my friends, for my family, for anyone who supports me, for anyone who sees me, for who I truly am. That's what I need. And that's all I need. To become more of who I can be. And when you feel lost, sometimes we feel lost, when you feel lost, ask your higher self there's a wiser self you have an ancient wisdom within you and it's accessible to you every time you calm yourself down you pause yourself like right here right now and you remind yourself that what you sense in quietness is real the insights that come to you in quietness they are wisdom from your higher self. Sometimes we are afraid of the answers because they may encourage us, they may encourage us to make big changes in our life. But maybe that's exactly what we need. So know that what you receive in quietness is real and it's true for you. Don't think about it, just feel it. This year you will take more time to say yes to what you love so you can say no to what you hate, what you don't like, so you can prioritize your well-being, your joy, your passions and really set boundaries for the things that are draining you, that are suppressing your gifts, your abilities, your capabilities. And are kind of pushing you aside, feeling you like a kid that was rejected at the times when no one was able to see who you truly are and what you have to offer, the playfulness, the creativity, the passions, the joy. So it's time to say yes once again to this inner child that is craving to be expressed and is craving to dance more, to play more, to enjoy more. Because sometimes when we don't do what we love, when we don't allow ourselves to do what we love, it feels like a part of us starts dying and it's just unpleasant feeling and sometimes it manifests in a body as a certain type of a disease or illness which is just a reminder from the body that you're lacking joy, that you're lacking playfulness. And sometimes we don't know where to find it. So 
you really need to ask your heart right now, how can I experience more joy in my life? How can I embody more joy? How can I play more in my life? And I mean this healthy playfulness, like doing something you truly love, like doing something creatively or playing with a pet or being more in nature or doing certain activities you truly love to do or if you're If you can do them, doing something else, like maybe watching a movie more often or listening a a music that really inspires you more often or meeting people that inspire you more often or reading a good book or just sitting outside and observing the movement of the trees in the wind, the smell of flowers, maybe watching how the snow is falling or maybe observing the ocean the waves the sound of the waves and you just try to feel it even more every time you experience it you feel it even more and play with that you see we are often trained to think only about bigger things we want to have But the greatest joy is usually experienced in simplicity, in simple things like observing the nature and feeling like being a part of it. When you see the tides, the waves, the ocean, you have an ocean of emotions within you. The rhythm of different emotions And more you feel centered, more you feel at peace with yourself, more that ocean is gentle. The rhythm becomes more coherent and you start to feel less anxious and more grounded. Let it be an intention for this year. I I am more grounded. I am more peaceful. And when you observe the sky, see how the wind is blowing away the clouds. So we can see a clear blue sky. It's like an empty mind. More you focus on quietness, more thoughts stop disturbing you. And you recognize that in quietness there's clarity. And in clarity there's the crystallization of soul. You crystallize yourself. You know that this strength truly comes from clarity. Not from knowledge, not from information, but from clarity. Because in clarity you feel. In clarity you're intuitive. In clarity you honor your senses. In clarity you honor your intuition. In clarity you become quite aware of anything that surrounds you. You feel the truth. You feel what's right. You feel what's best for you. You feel what's best for others. That's why clarity is your greatest strength. And this year you will maintain clarity. You will tap into clarity when you will need to. And when you will feel lost, you will go into clarity for answers. Now your soul will answer to you. Your body will tell you what you need. Know that there are mental needs when you have to do a mental cleansing, when you have to purify your mind, to do some mental diet, to do some detox, some fasting on information. Those are mental needs. And to think more positive thoughts when you need to when you feel worried about certain things because you're making changes, know that your past is trying to dictate your future. But in clarity, you know that you're the captain of your future. You're the captain of the ship. You're riding through these waves of changes. You as an awareness, as consciousness, And there are emotional needs. As little kids, we've, some of us, maybe 
have been lacking love, lacking care, lacking appreciation. And then until this day, we may still have these emotional needs like you feel you don't deserve love, you don't deserve care. Or if you've been growing up in poverty, you may feel you don't deserve abundance. But it's not true, it's just your past. Those are feelings from your past. They don't need to be real for you right now anymore. They just tell you what you're lacking. So give yourself more of this energy of love. When you love yourself, when you become this mentor, like a partner to yourself, like what would you give to yourself right now? If you would give some care to yourself, what would you give to yourself? We're often focused externally when it comes to love, care. But there's an inner child living within you that has certain emotional needs that were not provided by others, so provide it to yourself. If that's love. What's your expression of love for yourself? Can you be proud of yourself? Can you say some nice words to yourself? Like something you've done and you know you've done it well. And maybe nobody else noticed that. But it's important that you notice it. That you see how much you've grown. That you see that you are a good person. That you see that you have good intentions and that you're trying and when it comes to abundance know that all your efforts deserves to be paid off that everything you do you deserve anything you want you deserve good clients you deserve higher payment you deserve great prosperity around you you deserve to be treated like an abundant person you deserve good compliments and you deserve anything you really want and now just see what are the needs for your expression, like how you want to express yourself and you've been afraid of doing that, like do you want to be bold in your voice? What's your body posture? Do you want to speak your truth more often or, or really stand for yourself? Let's see how would it feel like if you start doing it more frequently. Who you can become if you do it? What happens there? Know that this is your power, this is your strength. And all the tests in your life are only testing you so you would discover this strength, that you can stand for yourself, that you can speak your truth, that you can do what you decide to do, that you can achieve what you decide to achieve. That you are your own greatest champion, my friend. So smile for a moment, say to yourself, this year I will accomplish anything. I've maybe started and was a bit shaken yet last year, scared. This year I will master it with ease. This is my year and I will conquer it. And now slowly come back into your body with a smile on your face, being proud of yourself for taking time, being grateful for this moment and this new energy. And when you will be ready, open your eyes.